Hey guys, I'm doing a promo video for uh, my new helmeted uh, tutorial. It uh, covers a lot of um, of the topics that come into play when you're working on subjects that you really want to get right and um, really want to get well done in, in the sense that if you, if you want to build a helmet and you want to build it well, I uh, made a tutorial for it. So I uh, tried to put my most of uh, my information that I know about making helmets. Um, the thing about uh, you know looking at them differently, trying to construct something that is very aesthetically pleasing and very detailed at the same time. And I use uh, Dynamesh and ZBrush. This is just something that I made with that tutorial. It is um, just all ZBrush, um, some alphas, techniques that I have come up with over the years to create such a design. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, get something out of it. It's a pretty lengthy one. It was uh, pretty difficult to do. Uh, these types of designs aren't easy to do, um, especially using Dynamesh. They require a lot of different techniques and tricks and just the ways that uh, you need to work within uh, ZBrush to achieve it. I uh, assure you making uh, concepts like this is the most freeing way to make a design and it's limitless in its possibilities. So I uh, really, really, really think you guys uh, should approach doing designs like this instead of uh, trying to build, a, build them all in, say, Moi or, or Fusion or um, just in sub-D modeling straight up. I uh, really suggest you guys uh, start concepting things in ZBrush and get your uh, rough shape uh, done to a point where it's about 70% done. And then you can take this design here, say, and then rebuild it and make it really nice and shiny. So I hope you guys uh, go and have a look at that. And until next time.